of so many women. And We're going to have this going to go on for a while. We all know what happened a year and a half ago. The new Supreme Court made an extreme decision overturning Roe v. Wade with their with their Dobbs decision. Disruptions like these are becoming the norm wherever the president goes, as the death toll in Gaza climbs. And even though his supporters attempted to drown out the protests with chants of four more years and let's go Joe, you can tell Biden is getting increasingly frustrated by them. In fact, he referred to one demonstrator on Tuesday as a, quote, MAGA Republican which I'd say is an odd choice to associate your opponent with a popular political position as most U.S. voters stand with the protesters and support a ceasefire, especially when Donald Trump himself absolutely does not. Although it would not surprise me at all if Trump cynically deploys the Genocide Joe moniker at some point this year. Biden's support for Israel's shock campaign in Gaza could face another major test by the end of the week, when according to news reports in South Africa, a decision is expected to come down from the International Court of Justice, which is considering charges that Israel is committing a genocide against the Palestinian people. The World Court will not yet weigh in on that main question of, is Israel committing a genocide? That ruling could take years, but the court could still issue emergency directives ordering Israel to cease its campaign. Anything short of that would make a total mockery of international law, which, let's face it, already lacks credibility. In addition to more airstrikes against Houthi targets in Yemen, the U.S. military also bombed targets in Iraq. The Pentagon claimed that the bombings targeted so-called Iranian-backed militias that had launched attacks on U.S. bases in the region. But a senior Iraqi military official condemned the attacks, telling state media, quote, this unacceptable act undermines years of cooperation, blatantly violates Iraq's sovereignty, and leads to an irresponsible escalation at a time when the region faces the danger of expanding conflict over the immoral war of extermination that the Palestinian people are facing. Also on Tuesday, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres told the UN Security Council that regional escalation has, quote, now become a reality, and he urged governments to, quote, step back from the brink. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new videos. Also, if you want to see Means Morning News in its complete form, not just the clips we post here. Head on over to Means TV and get access to all our new episodes and our entire backlog, plus tons of other great movies and original TV shows.